Hi, I'm Michelle and I'm a licensed massage therapist. So in this video, we're going to be talking about levator scapulae. We're going to learn how to body read for it, what it is, what it does, where it's at. <laughs> and also I'll have some stretches at the end to help to release it. So if you want to skip to a certain section, just click on the timestamps below. I will leave it in the comments. So levator scapulae is a muscle of the neck, but can cause a lot of shoulder pain. Its insertion point is on C1 through C4, so kind of like up through there and it attaches on the superior angle and medial border of the scapula. Meaning what it does is that it shrugs the shoulder because if you think about where it is, if this is the right scapula, the insertion's right here, right? So when it contracts, it lifts the shoulder up like that. So it lifts up the shoulder. Another thing that it does is neck extension. So it doesn't do this, it does this. It's helping to lift the head. Remember, it's in the back. so it's gonna lift the head up, right? Because muscles coming this way when it contracts. Um, it also does same side neck flexion. So the levator scapulae on the right will tilt the head to the right and the levator scapulae on the left will tilt the head to the left. So how I like to body read for levator is if I have a client and they're talking to me and I notice that their head is tilted like this, usually that's levator. It could also be the other muscles involved, but Levator too, because um, think about what levator does. It does same side lateral flexion. So if I see somebody tilted to the right, I'm automatically going to guess, all right, well, levator is involved in that, so I probably need to work there, right? Another way I can body read for it, if somebody comes to me and they have a forward head posture like this, definitely levator. <laughs> because again, think about what levator does. It does extension. So if somebody's head is far forward like this, um, and even if they kind of have a gaze that's naturally down and they have to really use their eyes to look at you rather than lifting their head, levator. <laughs> um, another thing, the token one, if the shoulders are up here, and you may be able to tell by looking at a person talking to them if it's severe enough, but usually you can immediately tell when they lay on the table, especially once you start moving your, uh, the client's arms around. If they're laying on the table kind of like this, and their shoulders are up here, and you like push their shoulders down, they can pop right back up, levator. So that's how I, those are the three ways that I usually tell that levator is a little angry. Um, otherwise, it's like a contributing thing. So if somebody's telling me they're having jaw pain, they're having pain in the face, they're having like tension, um, they're having eye tension, they're getting headaches all the way from the back up through here, usually levator is also a part of that, even though you know, the jaws over here and levators back here contributes. Cause again, if you're having jaw pain, you most likely have this posture as well. So things like that um, is how I body read for it. Um, yeah, I think that's it. <laughs> so another thing that I'll see sometimes with a, an angry levator is in a client that has a upward gaze. So, you know, they may not be looking up like this, but if you notice that they kind of, their chin may be tilted up a little bit, they may have a job where they're required to look up all the time. You know, again, that's extension. So that could be a thing. It, maybe sometimes people that are a little shorter, um, if they're looking up at things all the time or having to reach for things like that, same thing. You, of course, want to work the muscles in the front and the chest and everything as well, but certainly levator, you know, anything you work front and back. You don't just work the back. So, so some stretches that I like to do to help out with levator tension Usually I'm stretching the front because if something is tight in the back, usually the front is contributing. If something's tight in the front, usually the back is contributing. So again, think about what levator does. If it does extension, so first thing I'm gonna do would be to flex my neck. So I'll sit here for a couple minutes and mine is, my levator's tight already, so. <laughs> If my shoulders are up here and I notice it, I will actively try to push them down to give myself a stretch here. I may even clasp my hands and then push them down in the front. And I'll usually stay here until I feel it release. Or just kind of give a little bit. Usually you can feel it, you'll feel it let go. Another thing that I'll do, if I go to the, if I stretch this way, I'm definitely gonna stretch this way as well. So I'll look up, stretch all of this, and I may do the same thing. If I notice that I'm shrugging my shoulders up, I'll actively push them down. And I'll hold that until I feel a release. 
So with this one, this one can get a little tricky. I like to tilt my head to the side and then I'll kind of move slightly, nod my head very, very slightly and very, very slowly. And I can feel the stretch change as I do this. And to me, it kind of unsticks levator a little bit. And sometimes like the scalenes and all those other deep muscles in there, cause they get, they get stuck together, you know? The fascia starts getting weird and it gets all nice and tight. Cause if levator is tight, everything else is tight too. <laughs> in, the, in the neck, right? Um, it's rare that I see just levator tight. It's, if that if levator is tight, usually scalenes, SCM, all that's tight too. So I'll slowly nod my head and I'll just hold it. And I'll start feeling it. And you know, if I'm really tight, I'll start feeling this throughout my shoulder. It may go down my arm. If it starts going down my arm, I know I need to stretch out my arm a little bit and see what's going on there. I'll try to find knots on myself. <laughs> but um, that's another way you can do it. Um, and for since the last function that it does is to elevate the scapula, another thing I'll do, I'll put my arm behind me. Because I stunned up so you can see. I'll put my arm behind me like this. I'll grab onto my elbow and I'll pull my arm to the opposite direction and down a little bit. So notice what my shoulder is doing. This is me normal. Look here. So I'm pulling my shoulder down, right? And a little bit over. You can also play with where you are. You can move your hand around and if you feel like it needs to be here, put it there. <laughs> so that's usually how I stretch levator. And just doing that, I already feel more mobile and it's a little happier now. So hopefully that's helpful for you. Um, if you like this video, leave a comment, give me a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.